So basically what I'm talking about, or at least I just said, was that uh, one of the things that I've been you know, working on, my, my speaking gets better, you know, the more when you live in a different country, the more you, you live here, for example, in Israel, uh, the more you speak to people in Hebrew, the more you force yourself not to you know, rely on your other languages, the more that you, know, you become uh, more fluent in terms of speaking. But you know, if you, for example, don't immerse yourself in terms of like, the technical reading, uh, maybe um, you know, certain technical conversations, you, know, you could easily be left out of those. So what I decided to do recently was to uh, resign from my, my job, um, you know, effective in about two months, and basically, you know, spend the next year um, working on getting my Hebrew better, as well as working on a few projects that I've been wanting to do for quite some time now. So at least one of the projects uh, that I've been wanting to kind of work on is, uh, I guess you could say, like a documentary um, of my life, or at least my life transitioning to moving here in Israel, and kind of uh, what it's like for me, a person like myself, um, to live in Israel. And um, I've already started doing some filming in the, uh, this particular vein. Uh, and one of the parts I'm going to do is just interviews of what people think of me, uh, you know, in terms of you know their first impressions when they meet me, you know, what are their thoughts. Um, you know, so I'm going to have a kind of a, a range of people I'm going to be interviewing over the next few months or so to kind of get this reaction. And I'm really tempted uh, to try to maybe enter this into the uh, Mixed Roots Film Festival for next year, for 2010. So what's another happen. project that um, I've been kind of wanting to do was to do more videos specifically on YouTube concerning uh, Israel, concerning history, um, and just concerning opinions. Um, because, like I said before, uh, maybe I haven't said it on YouTube, but I've probably written about it on my written blog, um, which is Chokmo and Musar, the Chronicles of Ehav Ever. Um, one of the things I once uh, mentioned, uh, or at least came to terms with, was um, 
it's very important for a person like, like myself to do the videos that I'm doing, to do the writing that I'm doing, because there aren't a lot of voices like mine. You know, basically putting this kind of information out there as well as speaking about modern events or my own opinions from uh, my own cultural perspective. So, you know, now that I've kind of come to that conclusion, or at least I've had people present me with that conclusion, um, I want to be able to do something for about a year, you know, really getting more information out there to give people a broader picture of uh, what it's like for a person like me to live the life that I'm living here in the Middle East. So one other thing that's um, actually in the works also, um, I'm looking at maybe, like, as soon as I leave my job officially, um, probably I would say, I would say in the next two, two months or so, in September maybe, um, September or October, I'm actually looking at maybe uh, visiting the U.S. for about a month, uh, which would mean that I would visit uh, New York City, where I used to live before I moved here. Um, I guess you could say New Jersey, but I don't really have uh, many friends or roots in New Jersey at all, even though I lived there for like a couple of years. Um, as well as uh, going to visit um, my mother. She lives. Uh, she moved right, uh, right outside of Houston a number of years back. And, um, you know, I guess maybe Dallas, I have a few family members there. So I'm kind of looking at maybe, you know, visiting the U.S., maybe visiting a few places. I would say at the moment it's definitely going to be New York and um, uh, some parts of Texas, as well as uh, Jamaica. Um, probably, yeah, definitely Jamaica, I have to go there. And maybe even California, maybe L.A. So we'll see what happens, but that'll probably happen sometime in September or October. Um, so that's another thing that's, um, I guess you could say, cooking on the oven. All right, so and the other, I guess the other important thing too is, uh, of course, this October, I'm declaring it for myself uh, to be a month of positive solutions. Um, if you look at, uh, I think, to like my last two videos, or at least uh, in one of my videos I mentioned about a, a month of um, positive solutions where I'm basically going to be talking about uh, some about four or five different issues or different problems that I see, you know, kind of in my local uh, community as well as kind of in communities that I'm in one way or the other connected to and I'm going to be dealing with solutions. So that's coming up in October and I've already started working on videos for that. I've uh, actually close to completing the first video which is about um, the um, defending the honor of uh, black women and uh, I think that will be kind of interesting. It'll be one part video kind of dealing with just the basis of the issues and the solutions and then the other one to kind of give more detail. So that's the first one that's going to be coming out in October so uh, you know be posted for that. So that's basically it. This is basically just kind of a quick uh, what's going on in my life um, as well as oh, one thing I did forget to mention is I'm probably going to be moving soon from Malay to Mim to Jerusalem. Um, I'm still trying to work that out. I'm still looking for an apartment now. We're deciding if I'm going to stay in this apartment. Uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, the chronicles of Ehad Ever may actually be moving from Malay to Mim to Jerusalem. And uh, we'll see what happens with that. So with that, that's all I have right now. And uh, these are the Chronicles of Ehad Ever, coming to you live from Eretz Israel, which translated means the land of Israel. So to that I will say to you all, Yitzurot Kotuv Laila Tov Ve'am Erev Tov. Thank you.